CIA confidentiality integrity and availability we will be discussing about concept of confidentiality integrity and availability and other important concept of non reputation in this video these three elements are the end objective of any information security efforts we want to either ensure confidentiality or integrity or availability of data or system now let us understand what is confidentiality it refers the privacy of the data data should be available only to the person who should who is authorized to have access to that this can be ensured by following principles access to be provided on the basis of need to know and access to be provided on the basis of least privilege integrity refers to correctness completeness and accuracy of data correctness completeness and accuracy of the data c c a principle of integrity requires guarding the data against improper modification exclusion or destruction of information availability refers to timely access to information and data to be prepared for a natural disaster it is appropriate to assume the worst case scenario this helps the organization to strengthen its ability to recover let us discuss another important concept of non reputation in simple language non reputation is the assurance that someone cannot deny something from our perspective that is information security perspective non reputation is the ability to ensure that a party to a communication cannot deny the authenticity of sending a message that they have originated most important aspect to establish the non reputation is to have a individual and unique id so if shared or generic ids are used principle of non reputation it's difficult to establish let us discuss some key aspect from exam perspective what is the greatest concern for user of generic shared accounts accountability cannot be established non reputation cannot be enforced because same user same user id is used by more than one employee user can claim that transaction is not done by him which framework provides assurance for message integrity sender authentication and non reputation content of message is genuine that is what is meant by message integrity sender of the message is genuine that is what is meant by sender authentication and sender cannot escape his liability that is what is meant by non reputation content of the message is genuine that can be established through encryption or hash function and other two objective can be done by digital signature so both this element is covered in public key infrastructure hash function and digital signature we will discuss in detail in our next video now let us discuss some practice questions risk practice and notice that a generic account is used by two or more staff members 
which of the following is main concern? Reputation. Reputation is the denial of transaction by the user. None of the user can be held accountable because each user can deny accountability for transaction performed under generic account. This is the major challenge. Other options are not as critical as reputation. To ensure message integrity and non-reputation, which of the following technique is best? Please remember, public key infrastructure allows sender to provide authentication, integrity validation as well as non-reputation. All the three objectives can be established by use of public key encryption. Hash function will provide integrity. Encryption will provide confidentiality. Authentication code will provide integrity. We have separate video for hash and digital signature to get more clarification. In an event of security breach at another entity utilizing similar technology, the first action by a risk practitioner would be A risk practitioner should first access the likelihood of a similar incident occurring at their premise on the basis of above assessment other action can be planned which of the following can be defined as access risk risk of unauthorized access resulting in loss of confidentiality. This is known as availability risk. Integrity risk. Resource risk. Which of the following can be defined as availability risk? risk that service data not accessible as and when needed. Which of the following can be defined as integrity risk? Incomplete, incorrect, and inaccurate data. Thanks for watching.